My name's Anton Knowles. I'm uh, 43 years old. I'm a remedial massage practitioner here in Narracourt, South Australia. When I was 15 or 16, when I was at school, I, um, I was aspiring to be a professional golfer. I'd spend um, mornings and nights at the golf club, the local golf course, uh, hitting golf balls and in the, in the pursuit of a dream to be a professional golfer. On New Year's Day 1990, so it's over 19 years ago, I um, was travelling in my vehicle uh, with my then fiance and uh, we came to a stop sign. Um, unfortunately the car didn't stop, we went through the stop sign and it impacted on a bus and both, both of us were thrown from the vehicle and um, unfortunately my fiance died and I then was rushed to hospital and operated on and yeah, and the story sort of began then. The loss of my partner, my fiance, was just devastating and as difficult as that was to be, I had to rise above that to survive. I, I just, I had to get up, I had to, I had to take that step to walk even though I was in pain. In my life stopped then and a new one started. Um, it gave me a totally different outlook on life. Um, I went through over two years of rehabilitation, learning to, to function again in society. My, uh, my issues are ongoing, they will be ongoing for the rest of my life. I have uh, a brain injury and that uh, gives me a short term memory issue. I combat that every day. I suppose my life is a reminder of that past, but uh, without that, um, it wouldn't give me the desire and passion to live like I do now. I'm... It actually did affect my career ambitions dramatically and drastically as uh, I'd aspired to be a professional golfer for a number of years and was on, my, on the path to becoming a professional golfer. Um, that, uh, through that um, one incident, this car motor vehicle accident that I had, that was all stripped away, taken away. I woke up in hospital um, and that life was then gone. Well, my remedial massage business I've been doing now for 14 years and I think through the injuries I sustained and seeing people in that situation, uh, my awareness about the human body and how its function uh, should be or how it dysfunctions is uh, pretty high because my, my body was dysfunctioning to, a, to an extreme level. So, uh, you know, to have someone like Sam in front of me here with, with such minor sort of issues, um, I can sort of pinpoint uh, the problem areas knowing that uh, if we don't get things straightened up, uh, get things sorted out with this muscular system, the dramatic effect that uh, this may have on his body in future, it, I do understand how that is. So. On the side of the table for me. That'd be good mate. And uh, just have a seat there for a minute and when you feel okay you can hop up, pop your boots on and I'll see you out the front mate. This, this is a plaque that uh, I helped open about six weeks ago uh, with the mayor of the town, Ken Grundy. We opened this plaque as a, as a place for people to come to remember those that, have, uh, that they've lost in road accidents and, and generally a good place for, to come and remember those um, you know, people that are affected and touched by road trauma. Um, we feel that this has been very advantageous for this town to be proactive in uh, putting something out there for the people of the town. My message to young drivers would be that there is a lot of respect needed for motor vehicles nowadays. And the vehicles that you guys have got access to nowadays are super high powered vehicles. Think twice about um, putting your foot down and moving along, being quick or, or doing something just to the jeers of your mates. It's been a hard road to, to tread, to travel, but I think uh, I've been, I've turned a, a real negative in my life into a positive, and I look forward to waking up every day and seeing just what I can achieve for the day. In memory, use this place to look back and remember the past. Reflect and remember not only the people you who have lost their lives or been injured on our roads, but also the friends and family left alone. Um, you know, you're not alone. Let this place give you hope. And that's what the story is generally about.